adventure with Joe. Today we're going to act out Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So it's probably a story that you're familiar with. If not, it doesn't matter because we're going to do it today anyway. So I hope you're ready. You don't need any equipment, just you and a good sense of fun. So we've got four characters in our story today and we're going to meet all of them. And we need different body movements for all of our different characters. So the first one, Goldilocks. She's a bit sneaky and not very nice. And she walks everywhere on tiptoes. So let's have a practice of walking around on tiptoes. Don't let those heels touch the floor. That's it. And sometimes when Goldilocks is getting into trouble, she has to run really fast. So we're going to do lots of fast feet. Don't let your heels touch the floor and keep your feet moving as quickly as you can. That's it, so that's Goldilocks. And then we've got Daddy Bear, and he's really big. So we're gonna stretch up as tall as we can, and whenever he walks, he takes really big steps. So see if you can move around the room, taking really big steps, and reaching up tall too. That's it, so that's Daddy Bear. We've done Goldilocks and Daddy Bear. Now we've got Mummy Bear. She's a little bit shorter than Daddy Bear. So she squats down like this. That's it. And she walks around in a little squat like that. So see if you can stay with your knees bent, squatting down a little bit. And that's what Mummy Bear's going to look like. And then last of all, there's Baby Bear. He's really small. So he still crawls everywhere. So we're going to come down onto the floor. And if you want, you can crawl. If you want to make it a little bit harder, see, instead of resting your weight on your knees, if you can lift your knees off the floor and crawl around like that instead. These are called bear crawls. Maybe they called it after him. Named it after baby bear. So there you go. Those are our four characters. And we've got our four different movements for each of those characters. So, I think we better get on with the story, don't you? Yeah. So, once upon a time, there were three bears. There was Daddy Bear, so let's reach up tall. There was Mummy Bear, come into a squad. And there was Baby Bear, come down into your crawling position. And all three bears, we're going to go on a walk. So Daddy Bear led the way. He reached up tall and took his big steps and led all of the bears out for a lovely walk into the woods. There was Daddy Bear leading the way. Mummy Bear was in the middle. That's it, stay nice and low. And then following along behind, was Baby Bear, crawling along through the woods. Now they were going for a walk because their breakfast, their porridge, wasn't quite ready for them to eat yet. So they thought they'd go out and let their porridge cool down. And meanwhile, naughty little Goldilocks was out in the woods too. And she was tiptoeing her way around. And she came across the three little bears home and something smelt very nice. So she tiptoed over to the front door and she tiptoed into the house and she saw these three bowls of porridge. And her tummy started to rumble when she heard that. And she thought, well, I'm going to try some. So she went over to Daddy Bear's bowl, which was huge. So stretch yourself right out and see if you can bend down, pushing your knees out, staying nice and low and scoop up this big bowl of porridge. Oh, that's it, let's try it. Oh, that's disgusting. So Goldilocks, put that bowl back down again. Ugh. Don't want to eat that, that's horrible. There was a medium-sized bowl and she thought she'd try that. So she 
bent down to pick that one up. Now her legs were a little bit closer this time because the bowl wasn't so big. So she had to squat down to pick up this bowl. Ooh, and she tried it. Ugh, that one's disgusting too. So she put that one down. And then there was a teeny tiny weeny little bowl. So she went over to pick that one up. Her feet were really close together and she squatted all the way down to pick up the little one. Picked it up and tried that one. Mmm! That one was delicious! So she gobbled all of it up. And then she put the bowl down. Mmm! Well, her tummy was feeling full now and she was feeling good. And in fact, she was so full she needed to go and have a sit down. So she tiptoed all her way around the house and she saw three chairs. And she thought, well, that's good because I wanted to sit down. So there was one chair that was massive and so high that she had to climb all the way up it. So oh, up she climbed to get on top of this big old chair so she could finally have a sit down and a rest. Whew. She had to lift her knees up and reach up high until she got on top of the chair. And she sat down. Ugh, it was horrible. So she had to jump all the way down off that chair. So let's do a big high jump. Are you ready? Go! Ooh. There we go. Well, that chair was no good. There was a medium-sized chair, so she thought she'd try that one. And she sat in it. Ugh, that's not very nice either. Oh, don't want to sit in this. It's really uncomfortable. So she got out of that one. And then there was a little tiny chair. So she thought she'd try sitting in that one. And she sat down and her bum touched the chair and it was perfect but it was not designed for someone her size. So it broke and she rolled back and rolled forward again. And she kept rolling back and forward for quite some time. Oh no. Oh, whoever's chair that was, they're not gonna be very happy when they discover that. No way. Oh. So Goldilocks thought she better creep her way away from these chairs and see if she can go and see what's going on upstairs. So up the stairs she went to go and see what was up there. Oh, and she came across three beds. So she tiptoed over to the first bed and it was massive. So she had to climb all the way on top of the bed to have a little lie down. So up she went again, lifting her knees up lifting her arms up to get on top of this big comfy bed. That's what she hoped. Oh, and when she got up there, she did a big star jump Woo! and landed on it. Oh, but it wasn't comfortable at all. Oh, so that was no good. So she got off that one and went to go and try the medium sized bed. Oh, this one might be a bit better. So she went over to it, oh, and she thought, I'll lie down on my front on this one. So she lay down on her front, and oh no, this is not very comfortable at all. So she held herself up. No, she was not going to be able to stay on this one. Ugh. So she jumped off that one, and she thought, it's a little tiny weeny bed. I'll see what that one's like. So she came to one end of it, and she did a roly-poly onto it. Ooh -wee! Oh, and this one was perfect. So she lay there, and she fell asleep. <gasps> Meanwhile, the three bears came back. And Daddy Bear was leading the way. He was reaching up tall, and walking back, really looking forward to eating his porridge. Mm. He was taking big, huge steps so he could get home and eat that yummy porridge. 
and then he was going to have a sit down in his comfy chair and a lie down in his comfy bed. And Mummy Bear was doing the same. She was very excited to come and eat her porridge and sit down in her chair and then have a lie down in her bed. And Baby Bear was doing the same too. He was very excited to come home and have his porridge, sit down in his chair and lie down in his bed too. And when the three bears got home, Daddy Bear looked at his bowl of porridge. He knew something wasn't right. And he bent down and picked up his bowl of porridge. And he said, somebody's been eating my porridge. He wasn't very happy about that. Mummy Bear, she looked at hers. She picked hers up. And she said, somebody's been eating my porridge. And she wasn't very happy about that either. The little old baby bear, he looked at his porridge and he said, someone's eaten my porridge. Poor baby bear didn't get to eat any. So the three bears followed on from daddy and went into the other room to go and sit in their chairs. Daddy bear led the way, mommy bear followed along and baby bear came at the back, following his mum and dad. And when they saw their chairs, Daddy Bear noticed that someone had been sitting in his chair. He wasn't happy. Mummy Bear saw that someone had been sitting in her chair. She wasn't happy. And poor old Baby Bear saw that someone had broken his chair. Oh! The bears really were not happy and they were most confused. So daddy led the way and they went upstairs to go and have a lie down in their beds. Mummy bear followed behind and baby bear was at the back following his mum and dad. And when they got upstairs, daddy bear saw that someone had been on his bed and mummy bear saw that someone had been on her bed. And Baby Bear saw that someone was in his bed. So they woke up Goldilocks and she jumped out of bed and she ran down the stairs as soon as she saw those three scary looking bears. And she ran outside and she ran through the woods as fast as she can and she never wanted to go there ever again. Well done everybody! That was a fun one today, wasn't it? Following our story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know how you get on and I'll see you back here next week for another Family Fitness Adventure with Joe session. Thanks everybody!